infielders, anyone on the infield, it's important that we tag the runner deep and let the ball travel as long as possible. I'm going to show you a couple different plays, and in both case scenarios, if we're reaching out for the ball, the runner's going to be saved. So the first one here is Buster Posey throwing out a runner at second base on a stolen base. And if you pay attention, I'll kind of go back through that almost slow motion here um, as best I can. Where Look where his feet are and look where he's catching the ball. So he's actually straddling the bag here, which you don't have to, but in an ideal world, it, lets the, it, it forces you to let the ball travel rather than reaching out in front of home plate. And where he catches the ball is in line with the baseline. So he has not had to move his arm at all, and that is going to give us the best chance of getting a runner out. So on the next one here, there's a where Ian Kinsler's actually going to be out front on D Gordon, but he's going to have the weight on his back foot, and he's going to let the ball travel all the way to second base. So here's another angle of this play. See how far out he's out in front, and if D Gordon is reaching for that ball, it's it's not even close. Like he's going to be easily safe. You see his his hand is almost in the baseline there and catches it off of his back hip. So it's important that we not reach out front. We can really change how if someone's safer out based off of that. And I'll give you a couple of examples here of, of some people that are not doing their team justice by this. But before I get to those, I'll show you a couple other plays here. One that's outstanding, even on a scoop, how he's able to actually go back and see catch this ball off the hop. So this is from, I think this next one is actually from Salvi. So... Um, ball scoop, his hand is back, just good hands uh, being able to make that play. So um, let me go ahead and pause this, and we'll take a look at those other runners. Okay, next, ex next example is a first baseman who's catching it way out front. And I'm not saying on this particular video that the runner would be safe, but you can actually see how out front, how, how far out in front of the bag he's catching that ball rather than getting back here to where he's catching it in this area. So that's really what we want to be able to do. Um, he's having to reach way further. The ball is going to travel much faster than your hand can travel um, catching and scooping. There's a catcher. Uh, this runner, I don't know if he would, it was called out or safe, but the runner's actually safe, and it's because... Um, or if you go back and look at where this catcher catches the ball, it's way out front here. And instead, he's got his weight on his left hip to where he can angle himself at once he catches it and catch the ball in this area. That runner's going to be dead to rights coming into home play. But because he catches it and has to swing his arm around, this runner is actually able to slide his leg right on top of the plate before the catcher actually gets there. So it's really important that we take time to catch the ball deep and practice this.